Hi guys, this is Chris with the YouTube channel Just Do It Yourself Chris. I'm gonna be reviewing uh, Google Nest a third generation and I'm gonna show you how to connect it to your furnace and also I'm gonna co uh, connect it to uh, Upper 800 uh, steam humidifier. This is a whole house humidifier. I'm gonna connect it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm not gonna do a review on the unboxing because if you know what it is and you bought it, you bought it because you liked it and that's why you know you know exactly what it is. I'm not gonna do unwrapping and all that. Some people do it. I'm just gonna go, this video is how to install it. Uh, I just wanna let you know that this is a video that I'm making for the educational purposes and this is how I did it. This may not necessarily work for your setup. You may have a different furnace. My furnace is old. The house was built in 1979, so the furnace probably 1976 or 70, maybe 77, 78. So, and it's 2011 right now, 2017 right now. And um, so this is only for uh, the educational purposes, okay? I'm just showing you how I did it because this is a very popular model of the Google Nest that work on the, with the app. And this is a very popular, uh, and very powerful uh, hum uh, steam humidifier. So I thought I'm gonna make a video. Um, the humidifier is already installed and the Google Nest is already installed. I, did it, uh, I didn't think about making a video, so I'm just gonna tell you how I did it and what I, what I went through and um, how to do it by yourself. Okay, so this is, like I said, Nest third generation and this is the steam humidifier uh, series 800. This is good for about 6,200 square feet house. Uh, the house I live in is about 2,500. So this is about three times, in my understanding at least, is about three times more efficient than I need. So I'll be working only a third of it that I have to. The reason of this, of, for the humidity is um, very important because in winter it's dry air and as you know, it's colder, right? So it's dry air. So when you want to heat it up, your electric bill is gonna go up because you're gonna have a tendency to go to 70 all the time, let's say, right? Uh, but if you raise the humidity, you can actually look up uh, th uh, thermodynamics uh, tables. And if you raise your humidity, then it feels hotter at the 70 than with the dry air at 70. It's just because the, the moisture is saturated with water and that basically causes um, the, the heat to last longer and, and it feels to the skin uh, warmer. And actually, this is exactly what the steam room is about. I'm not saying you're gonna make a steam room, but this is the idea of the steam room. When you go to the steam room, you make a lot of steam and you put a lot of degrees and you say, oh wow, this is really, really hot and you, you're sweating it because because of the high, super saturated, over saturated air. Well, here we don't have that uh, problem, but this is, uh, so let me, let me just uh, show you first thing. Let me go over some, uh, some stuff. This is the manual, this is the Google Nest. Uh, I'm gonna show you, this is very important, okay? Like I said, this video, I'm just going to go for meat and uh, potatoes, just to the chase, you know, so you can just follow what what to do i'm not gonna be doing unboxing and how to cut uh, cut a box i'm just gonna be doing diagrams and then i'm gonna show you how to install it all right so this is a very important thing uh see this diagram you can pause the video and uh review it okay so i found this online there were many variations but i found this one actually is gonna work for what i need all right so with my furnace, the, the, uh, the furnace creates 24 volts, okay? And the furnace has uh, G, W, G is the fan, W is the uh, heating, cooling, C the common, and then you have a power R, okay? The Google Nest was like, it works like a switch. Whenever you go uh, basically switch between the fan, you can turn the fan on and off without heating or cooling. Then you have a heating, you can do on and off, cooling on and off, and then you have the special, which is a star, which in this case is the humidifier. Now, this is very important. You have to put a relay in. The reason for the relay is because this model of the humidifier creates 24 volts. And when you have 
24 volts for the humidity, hu uh, hum uh, your furnace, and 24 volts from your uh, uh, 24 volts from your uh, um, furnace and the, and the, and the humidifier. There's there's a tendency to it, it doesn't work. So this is how you connect it. Uh, you have to buy this relay. This relay is very cheap. Uh, this is a spec from the relay. This is the model number. Uh, it's called switching relay. You can Google online. Uh, it's nine two two nine zero, and it's this diagram. Okay, one three two four, and this is how it's connected. One goes to the C, star goes to the uh, three, which is the humi hum hu uh, humidifier. Uh, number two connects to J twelve dash one, and number four connects to J twelve dash two. It took me a long time to figure it out. That's why I'm sharing this video with you. So. Uh, it's gonna be easier for you. you can just watch the video and follow what I did okay and there here's a 24 volt 8 amp uh, inductive and aggressive uh, uh, rating for the for uh, for the relay so basically it's this relay okay I'm gonna just uh, mark it up again for you there you go all right so you need to buy this relay. This really cost me like five dollars plus shipping it was like eight dollars uh, so this is not a big deal okay but very important so this is how you connect this relay all right, now J12-1 and J12-2 on the diagram that came in with the humidifier, I couldn't find it first because it's not marked, okay? Uh, it's 2017, uh, January, and this is, uh, this, is a new, um, this is a new relay, a new board. So I couldn't find exactly what they're talking about. So what I did, I went online and I found the old model. An old model is a little bit different, but at least shows me where the J12-1 and the J12-2 connectors are. I kind of knew which one they were talking about, but you know, I'm not gonna risk and connect something to something at random. I wanna make sure 100%. So as you can see, this is the uh, humidistat, uh, and this diagram, it's right here, those two numbers, okay? So basically, on the new one, I know for sure this is it, and this is a 20 volt that the cre it's cre created by the uh, uh, by the humidifier. So that's why you need a relay. Okay. So when you go to this diagram, which comes in with the uh, with the relay, it's easier for you to follow it. Now I'm, I, there's a small modification here because I also included the airflow switch switch, which is uh, right here. I have a spec for it. This is the uh, dry steam model AFS 222112. This is the uh, air pressure sensing switch with adjustable set point range. Basically what it is is it has a high pressure and low pressure sensor in it. The low pressure is exposed to environment and high pressure is inserted in your return. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, in the supply. So when the fan is working, the S sensor comes on and the switch goes on basically because it knows the difference of the pressures then uh, why this is important it's important because if you have a humidifier set to whatever setting you have there's a possibility that your fan is not working at that time let's say you, pr you can probably hear in my video the fan is not working right now and if i didn't have the switch Let's say my humidifier, my humid was low in the house and the humidifier suddenly went on. There's a possibility that it would dampen your furnace and you can flood it. So, so this switch basically cre uh, goes on when the fan is on. And that's why it's very important. This is the most important, probably very, uh, one of the most important elements of all the whole setup. This switch, which is not shown here, but I'm going to show you how to install it, what to do with it, and how to do it, okay? I'm going to show you exactly. And actually, it's already shown here how to connect it. There's a little uh, difference here because the, the relay is not shown here. And so you have to kind of figure out what's going on. But this is very simple because uh, uh, all you have to do is all you have to do is just put the relay and connect it to the star, okay? Then this goes from the C, then I splice this right here, and I went, it says optional, It's a, but I did it, okay? And then it goes to, 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 to the nest. Now, I know that on the box, on the nest, it says that you don't have to have a C, so you may get away with that cable. You don't have to. You don't have to do that because it says on the box. Uh, it says on the box somewhere here. 
I forgot where it was, but I think on the other side that this 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 can be installed. Hold on, let me see here. This can be installed without a C, uh, without a C wire. Uh, but like I said at the beginning, this is my setup, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six wires. Actually, I have seven, but I uh, but I decided to not to install the seventh one. I just left it for the future. So if I in the future if I upgrade the um, the the furnace, let's say I'm gonna be putting let's say newer one with the two stage heating. Not necessarily two stage cooling, but probably at least with the two stage heating. That's why I'm gonna be using the other one. So uh, so basically, this is this is it. Uh, this is how it works. This is the uh, this is the important element right here on this diagram. You connect it. Um, there's an outdoor sensor, okay? That is very important because if you go to this little book, which is the uh, humidifier control model 62 that comes in with the with the unit, if you go actually here, this is very important, okay? This is how you connect it. I'm giving you. I'm giving you a solution, basically. You, you don't have to, you have to just pay attention, listen, and just follow the steps. You're gonna be able to do it. The R is, goes to R. The C, it's optional, but like I said, you have to you have to install it the way I installed it, installed it right here, okay? This is the diagram, okay? Because the book doesn't show you. So that's why it took me a long time to figure out. Again, I am not doing this for a living, so for me, it took a long time to digest it and then figure out exactly because I have old furnace and I had to deal with this monster with all those cables. When somebody saw it before, it would be like, oh my God, this is like impossible. But actually, it's not that bad if you, if you just do it. There's a G that goes to the G on the humidistat. This is the humidistat 62, the relay. Uh, I mean, the, 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 yeah, basically when you connect it, this is the... Uh, your humidifier with the two cables. These you just connect to, uh, hold on, I'm trying to zoom in with my camera, to the H, okay, to the H output, to the H output, um, or input rather, right? Um, yeah, it says output, okay. Uh, but again, remember, you have to put a switch here. What I mean is this. See, they're not showing you that. See, I am showing you that. So the first goes to the guy here, and the second goes to the switch. Then from C, it goes to the second one, okay, second H. Now, you splice it here. Actually, you splice only one. Let me just erase this. You splice one of them, okay, and you do this. You spliced it here and here, actually two of them, and then you put a relay. Okay, you put a relay and, and as if this was going to the switch. Switch, okay? So, uh, and then you can just connect it to the relay. I'm gonna show you downstairs, I'm gonna go downstairs, but first I wanna show you exactly how to do it on, on, on the wiring diagram so you understand. Uh, you understand what you're looking at. See, that's the problem. People are looking at boxes, but nobody can read the wiring diagram. I want to show you how to read it, okay? So, this is where you put a relay, okay? And then you just follow this guy, okay? 